Hello everyone, my name is Daniel B and I'm here for XSL All Sports United. Today I'm here to give you a few advices on how to find the right shoe for you. Now I know this is not an easy task since the market for running shoes is constantly growing and you're always receiving impressions from commercials, brands and your social network about what shoes you should go for. The first thing I would like to say is, do not let the shoe tell you how to run. Ask yourself how you would like to run and choose a shoe that fits your way. Where you're running will have a big impact on the choice of your shoes. You might prefer to run along dirt roads and in the forest paths. Then a terrain shoe might be a good option since they have an improved durability, grip and stability compared to their asphalt counterparts. Trail running can also be very soothing for your body and mind since you don't have to worry about any traffic and the surface of which you're running is changing, giving your whole body a great exercise. If you'd rather stay away from bears and wildlife, an asphalt or hard surface running shoe might be right up your alley. These types of shoes tend to be softer in the cushioning, more breathable and lighter. The amount of cushioning is also generally higher in an asphalt shoe. I believe variety is key, so if you would like to run on both asphalt and terrain, why not go for two pairs of shoes? This will increase the lifetime of both pairs and give your body a nice wholesome workout. This is a good time to bring up, how do you run? What I mean by that is, are you planning on going for longer, low intensity runs, or are you planning to go on high intensity, short bursts? Are you a natural heel striker, or do you find yourself landing more on the midfoot, forefoot? All of this should be taken into consideration when choosing the right shoe for you. If you're going for those long runs, usually a shoe with more cushioning is a good choice since your technique tends to falter the further into the run we get, because we get tired. On the other hand, when you want to go for high intensity runs like intervals, sprinting or races, then a lighter and more responsive shoe will give you an improved running experience. Likewise, if you're in the terrain, the improved grip and stability from a trail running shoe will feel amazing under your feet. I would never tell a guest that the way they run is wrong. Now, it's important that you find a technique that suits you and you feel comfortable with. With that being said, let's talk a little bit about pronation. This is often a big topic for many people and stores alike. You might have heard that you have a pronation and must have the most stable shoes out there. The truth of the matter is that pronation is the body's natural progression through your step that uses your foot, leg and thigh when you run. There is no correlation between moderate pronation and injuries. If you have a severe overpronation, then you need support. With moderate, you do not. Now, if you feel comfortable with running on the heel and want to keep doing that, there are plenty of shoes that focuses on that by having a lot of cushioning and stability in the heel part. They also tend to have a slightly higher drop, like 10 to 12 millimeters. If you, however, would like to run on the midfoot forefoot, or if you're already doing that, then a shoe with a lower drop, like 8 mm and less, will feel more natural since you don't have to step over a higher heel to land there. Now, you could obviously run on the forefoot with a higher drop and vice versa. This is just a guideline to help you find what fits you the best. Speaking of fit, it's important that you find a shoe with a shape that matches your foot. If we start with the length, you should always have at least 3 to 7 mm excess room in the front part, since your feet will get warmer during a run and thus will swell a bit. And if you're running in slopes and hills, that excess room will be necessary. When it comes to width, I suggest that you find a model that lets your foot relax inside of the shoe. Now don't get me wrong, the shoe needs to feel secure on your heels, so you don't feel like it's gonna come off. But if you let your forefoot be relaxed, you will get more stability and your foot will not tire as fast. Last but by no means least, what socks you're wearing will have a big impact on your experience. Cotton socks might be very soft and comfy in your sneakers, but they lack the ability to transport moisture and heat away from the foot and out through the breathable mesh in a running shoe. Therefore, a few good pairs of running socks that are designed for this purpose is a great addition to any running shoe. I hope this information was helpful on your quest to find the right shoe for you. Remember that you decide where and how you're gonna run, not the shoe. Until next time, see ya!